Man, what's good? YouTube, it's your boy JL, he who ascends, you dig? And we live back again with another reaction video. Um, and this one is interesting. I, I, I came across a video by uh, a woman who goes by the name of Olivia Alexa. And it's titled, Darkest Manipulation Tactics Women Use to Control You. So you already know how we do, man. STIG gang, let's get straight into it. Hi guys, women have very dark manipulation tactics they use to control you. And you're probably not even aware of it. It's always painted that men are so deceptive, lying and manipulative, not caring about who they hurt along the way. But women are masters of psychology and a lot of them use these six tactics I'm about to share with you. One, withdrawal. I don't know if I say masters of psychology, but I think they just understand how simple men are. Like they know, you know, a lot of women just be knowing um, that men out here be folding and don't really be having a lot of play. So a woman can like the same way a man can smell like hope on a girl, like a girl can smell simp on a nigga. Women know how to have you worried, blaming yourself, etc. All while they're all smiles watching you wonder what the hell you even did wrong. Guys have almost been programmed to believe that if their lady is keeping to herself, then something must be wrong. Your brain automatically goes into panic mode and you start thinking if you missed her birthday or anniversary or if you if it's something else that you forgot or something that you did wrong. Now, the next thing you know that you're trying to make up for something that you didn't even do to begin with. Women do this to try to keep you on your toes. It's a way to make sure that you don't get too comfortable and start taking her for granted. It's a scare tactic to have you constantly thinking about her and start panicking because you feel that you might be losing her. All right, that's OC. So the first one she spoke about was uh, withdrawals. Um, and, and that's just like, you know, th these low key are things that I experienced a lot when, you know, uh, dating in like middle school and high school, they really be like, some some young girl techniques you feel me but then there's like some there's some pro there's some pro uh 304s out there that have that have learned how to elevate this up to a whole different level you dig what i'm saying um but nah uh withdrawals is a real one so that's just like she'll she'll show you a whole bunch of attention and then um what will happen is that she'll she'll begin to retract um, and, and, um, let me, let me just throw this caveat in here that a lot of this stuff really come from trauma. You know, one, uh, a lot of the women who practice this, um, I, I wouldn't even call them women, but the, the girls that practice this are, um, you know, a lot of them oftentimes, you know, have experienced traumas and that's not even to shame or nothing like that, but, uh, you know, they've experienced trauma and as a result of that trauma, a result of not wanting to be hurt. Um, sometimes it's not wanting to be hurt. So so there, it's the same way like a guy will just be out here smashing and thrashing uh, so that his heart doesn't really ever get compromised because he may have got hurt before. So that's, you know, this is the equivalent of what, you know, on the other side of the fence, what women are doing in order to, um, sometimes it's to really not, emotionally get too involved or invested sometimes it's also to really just to finesse you um and really have control over you and those 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 sort of women like weak men because they can have they can usurp dominance and authority and power over that man um and that makes them feel powerful you know they're they're akin to like a kranos they they consume men and the more men that they consume uh the more powerful they feel Number two is mirroring. Mirroring is when someone copies the characteristics and traits of someone else. This could be through body language. This could be through verbal and physical habits, attitudes, tendencies, etc. I have a separate video on mirroring that goes in further detail, but basically they evaluate what you need in a relationship so they can pose as a perfect match for you. The problem is that it's never truly genuine. It's a tactic they use to bring your guards down in order to easier fulfill whatever agenda they have. So see, let me touch on mirroring real quick. So that's like, um, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna give you a good explanation of mirroring, man. Let me, let me put y'all boys on game. So like, if you, if a guy, like, you know, if you're a guy and you dating a girl and you're trying to figure out how you can really figure out whether or not like, um, Shawty's values are aligned with yours, then let her talk first you did what i'm saying don't don't be so quick to start like 
giving a sort of resume and a dossier of like your life, you feel me, and what you be on. Uh, because what'll happen is that now they're hearing everything you're talking about and they're able to pick up the things that matter to you, the things that you value, and they can easily just be like, oh my gosh, yeah, like me too. Like, yeah, oh my, like, oh my God, that's the... And they can just play, they can play into that. They can, you, they, they done already heard everything that you care about and that matters to you, and they can play into that. And then, um, and then they can use that as ammunition to finesse you. Like if for any given reason, you know, they're caught, you know, being incons inconsistent or inconsistent rather, they can use those things that you value to reel you back in. You feel me? Or sometimes they'll just, they'll just, uh, uh, go straight to seduction and trying to seduce you. Um, you know, especially if y'all get into a heated argument and, and they feeling like you might really let them go and they're not trying to, they don't want that to happen just yet. It'd be like, oh, nah, baby, like, you know, I'm sorry, baby, like, please. All this, you know, y'all know what it is, like, and we get, and we fold every time usually, you know, so, uh, mirroring is big and mirroring is actually something you can do. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's a body language technique that you can, you can use and to actually make people feel more comfortable. Like if you're in a business meeting with somebody, uh, mirroring their body language is is um, is imitative, and then what it does is it makes the person feel as if y'all, you and them, are are on the same page or on the same frequency, right? If somebody stands and you know if somebody postures like this, and then you you do a, a posture as well, or you you know you mirror that action, you know you lean forward or something like that, or or if a person. You know, y'all can't see, but it's like if a person, you know, crosses their arms, for example, and then you cross your arms as well and lean back. Or if a person crosses their leg and then you 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 adjust your posture as well, what that does is it puts you and that person in a in a flow state, because um, body language is a form of communication. As you can see, I'm even using it as I'm speaking right now. And um, what you can do is you can use body language, hand gestures, and things of that nature to hold somebody's attention. Right, so things like that. So when you when you're seeing somebody mirroring your, I, I do it too, you know. So these things, um, these things like, and it's the motive behind how you're using these sort of tactics. You feel me? Everybody uses, a, everyone manipulates to a certain degree. I don't really care what you're talking about. Like, um, it's just like, what's the motive behind it? If the motive is to finesse the person purely for your own gain. Then you know what I mean. Then 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 that can be um, manipulative in an illicit, like dark way. But it's like if you are using particular social uh, techniques, things of that nature, social uh, uh, strategies in order to really build relationships and to just really make people a little bit more comfortable uh, with you. Then then and the motive is pure. The intentions are pure. Then then those are manipulation tactics that I would say. Um, are are positive but everybody for the most part in my opinion manipulates has practiced manipulation and practices this um on a consistent basis on a day to, on a day-to-day -day. you know women trying to get into the club they manipulating these folk <laughs> you know you ain't finna get bro no play same thing with a uh 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 with a dude you know he has something nice in or or he knows that he has the ability of being able to give a girl the lifestyle that she want, then he can leverage that and to manipulate. You know, so let's keep it going. But she's spitting though. You know, I mean, these are these are real, these real things. Number three is guilt. A woman knows that there's a heavy responsibility on men to ensure that their woman is happy and well taken care of. She plays on that to get what she wants or when she wants to get your emotions under her control. Guilt tripping you almost immediately changes any situation to work in her favor. Do you know how many men know something is off in their relationship? The signs are there that she's being unfaithful, but she throws a tantrum or she turns on waterworks or she blames the man for being insecure or controlling. And what does the man do? He starts questioning if he's tripping or if he's thinking too deep about obvious signs that he's seeing. Then he's apologizing to her to make her feel better when she knows that he was right all along. Yeah, so guilt tripping is another one, man. Um, and that's real, you feel me? Uh, 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 girls do that 
a lot, you know, men too, but this specifically about the ladies, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do another video on um, male manipulation tactics um, because this isn't about trying to make women look bad or make, you know what I mean, and, and, and white knight men or make men look bad and white knight women, you know what I'm saying? This is an unbiased, we purely looking at data, you know, and, and we looking at uh, the actions of both sexes on this channel, you know what I'm saying? Unbiased, you dig? Um, but anyway, you know, uh, uh, guilt tripping is, is major. Like a girl might be, uh, you know, uh, you, you might be, like, let's say you, you, you dating a girl and then like, you know, she wanted to spend time and kick it with you. And then she's making you feel bad about whatever it is you doing. Where, like if you out working or whatever it is that you are doing, um, or spending time with your, your, your men or, or, um, or whatever it is, whatever it is that you're doing, you did what I'm saying, and she making you feel like like you not prioritizing um, time spent with her, and might guilt you know trip you by bringing up something that you know you done in the past, or bring up something that you said you know in order to use that against you uh, instead of really dialoguing with you in such a way where she's bringing you she she's making you aware. Um, where she's making you aware and then encouraging you um, and knowing how to speak like you know the 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 the, the thing the, you know the thing that a lot of women misunderstand is that like if they learn the right way to to speak to their man they actually would be able to get a lot of the things that they want out of that man but because they don't speak right because they're everything is about uh everything is about um you know, need to be right as, you know, uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin Samuel said, you know, sign language, you know, uh, need to be right. That's a major one. So it's like an insults. So the insults may not be blatant, but she'll bring things up in the past that, you know, areas where you may have been inconsistent. Usually they'll bring up things that you said and then showcase how your actions are inconsistent to, uh, to, to really check you for real. And, 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 um, you know, oftentimes they'll, they'll, they'll play at, uh, they'll play at the, they'll play at the, um, integrity of a man's word, you know, because that means a lot to us, you know, being able to do and do and perform as we say we will, um, and to, and to be who we say we are, you know, you know, a man's word is his bond. You feel me? And it's all about, uh, respect for men that will die for respect. So it's like, whenever we feel like we're not getting that from our woman and she's she's um, saying, I ain't respecting you because you're not doing X, Y, and Z, it's making it like, especially if they're able to showcase an inconsistency in like what we've said and what we've done, uh, then, then, you know, that, that plays with us on on an ego on an ego level and we're like damn like you know so so that guilt tripping can definitely be used um to finesse for sure number four is the hot and cold method this is a staple in the manipulation playbook she showers you with affection and attention making you feel comfortable and attached to her then she catches you off guard with a disappearing act Going goes, conversation seem dry, her demeanor starts to give off very much cold shoulder vibes. That's that's when those answers start sounding like this. I'm fine. Okay, nothing. Yeah, I'm busy. Talk to you later. You don't realize it, but she's getting you hooked. Now you're sitting there like an addict, messaging, asking what's wrong. You want to see her buying gifts to try to fix whatever you think is happening in an effort to get her attention and affection again. No cap. Got you right where she wants you. Yeah, so the fourth is hot and cold method, and that that's uh that's big. Girls sometimes will do that, like off the rip. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll you'll be kicking it with a girl like a week, and like or you might go on two three dates, and they lit. I'm talking about shorty lit, giving you all type of action, body language, chemistry, all into phone down. She's being extra feminine, in tune, giving you real conversation with the things that y'all talking about, and really having insights that seem to be coming from her own mind, you know, not regurgitated uh, thoughts, right? And and y'all vibe in the chemistry, sexual escalation is lit. You like, ah, damn, shawty fire, right? And um, 
and, and, and you really feel a real connection and a real engagement, right? She she texting you. You ain't even having a text shouty. Like she texting you, like hitting you up and like with stuff that you know she was thinking about you. Like it might be a meme or something related to a conversation or something like that that y'all had. And then like you like, damn, like, you know, shouty. It's it's not it's 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 enough, not too much. It's not like she blasting your phone or nothing like that, but she giving you just enough even when y'all not together. Um and and what and then like, you know, maybe two, three dates or this might go on for like a week and you like yo, like you telling your man's like, bruh, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you might even really get active with Shawty and like it might it might get to that point where y'all, you know what I'm saying, y you know, you getting in them guts. However, after all of that, it, it, like she go cold or you hit, now you hitting her up like, oh, da, ah, 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 and then you could tell like, it just be the way she texts. It might be one worded text or it, it, it's like, it's hours later or something. Or, you know, um, you might call her phone and she's like, oh, hey, da, da, da. She, she, like, if you call her to see really what's up and it's like, oh, hey, da, 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 this and the third. Like every like as if everything good, but she quickly trying to get off the phone. Sometimes it could be a it could be a um, a myriad of things. She could really have a whole another situation going on, um, or it could be a thing where she's intentionally pulling back, like to reel you in. It's like bait and switch. It's like you know I'm I'm a I'm a you know it's like I'm out fishing and I got you know a little bait on the end of that pole. And I throw that into the water. And the minute that, you know, that fish get close, whoop, you know what I'm saying? I, I whip that back. And it's like, psychologically, you fiending now, you know? It's like, so you get a whiff of, the, of a pheromone and then you like, you know, you geeking. You, you geeked, you know? You don't even know how to control yourself. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, and some girls are are are, are really proficient with doing that where they don't even got to say anything to a guy like if let's say you in a um you in a at an event and this beautiful girl that you into right she might give you like eye contact and like do like a little smirk or some gesture to make it seem like oh my god like you know i'm looking at you and like wow you fine like that and not say nothing and you thinking like damn shawty like really she looking at like damn like you you peeping the eye contact you peeping the chemistry the chemistry and then you thinking to yourself like she might even like lick her lips or do a little it's a subtle gesture she might do and then you like damn like you know what's up and she and that's all she got to do and she know you finna come running like doing whatever to you know knocking niggas out the way like you come here you feel me so um those girls are really proficient at doing that number five the power of suggestion this is a very covert trap have you ever been with a woman and she conveniently sticks into the conversation about this shoe that she saw or this dress that she saw online and loved or if y'all are together and she sees something that she likes and she says things like, I would love it if a man did something like that for me. Or I've never had a man buy me anything like that. What she's doing is subconsciously putting actions into your head. She's not directly telling you to buy it or, or do certain things for her while at the same time influencing you to want to do these things for her. Yeah, power of suggestion, bro. That's a real one. Like, oh my God, I would love it if a man bought me flowers. Oh my God, like, look what he did for her, babe. Like, it's like if y'all dating... Oh my God, look at, I'll show you a video of like some another man did. You're like, fuck you, why are you showing me that for? Like, you know, the power of suggestion. And then like, all of a sudden have an attitude. She, some of these joints are used in con conjuncture with each other in order to strengthen its effect. She might do the power of suggestion, then do a little withdrawal. And then you're wondering why she's stepping back. And you're like, Shawty, we was just lit like the other day. Why are you acting this way, that way? And you. You, and if you was, if you a little bit discerning, you peeping that it's probably because of that little video, that little suggestion she threw out there. If you're smart, you don't say nothing. You feel what I'm saying? And then you want her to disclose that because if you disclose that, then it's it's like, oh, well, then you know why I'm upset, right? But it's like, you want your shorty to speak and to communicate what she's feeling. You know, and then some might be like, well, you know, da, 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 da. If you, if you really pressing them, they might be like, well, you know, I just feel like you, and then you can tell, okay, well, boom, this is linked to to that little thing you suggested that you wanted me to do, but you sitting here and, and, and taking your affection away 
in order to manipulate me to get me to do something you saw somebody do for another girl. Like, it's wild. <laughs> Screes be wicked, bro. Let's keep going though, the last one. Number six is love bombing. Now this is probably one of the most strategic and darkest ones. It comes in waves, a process that sucks you in and controls you just the way she likes it. It involves hyping you up, compliments, affection, the whole nine. She's gonna make you feel like you're the perfect match, like you're special. They shower you with all this love and attention in an attempt to influence you. This is how love bombing looks. Day one, you're so handsome. Day two, oh my God, we have so much in common. <laughs> Day three, I don't usually fall for someone this fast. Day four, I just feel like we're meant to be together. Day five, I love you. By yeah, the end I'm of this straight. process, you're falling hard. And she's got you exactly where she wants you, fully invested in her and extremely vulnerable. Be extremely careful out here, guys. I'm gonna I'm stop it there, but nah, she, she that's fact. Um, nah, that love bombing is a real one, you feel me? And it's kind of akin to the third one, I believe, just like um, the hot and cold method. But it's, it's a girl really just giving you a lot of energy uh, to reel you in once she got you hook, line, and sinker. She got you. That's when. That's when she can really pull anything she want out of you. She calling you random times of the night, baby. Come, come pick me up, baby. And then this and the third, any time of the night. You know what I'm saying? Got you spending money, hitting you with like all type of situations of uh, what she got going on. Um, you dig and and um and asking you know seeing if you could if you can if you can meet those needs. Uh, you know and. <laughs> just finessing you for real you know usually you, you're gonna end up really coming out of pocket at that particular point you're gonna be losing a lot of time a lot of money and then a lot of sanity you know y'all stay sharp out there it's your boy jl he who ascends straight to a gang i love y'all man peace love and purpose we don't do happiness out here in these streets you know what i'm saying because happiness is fleeting y'all stay sturdy